Welcome guys to another episode of Boom Arena. Today we're gonna be playing uh, with a uh, bird spam deck, which uh, uh, pretty much will contain uh, uh, normal bird spam cards that you would have expected, except ex uh, we're not gonna be playing like a heavy tank, which is like Viking or uh, I don't know, Dark Knight. Uh, None of this stuff, we're gonna be actually playing uh, some lighter version which involves Footman. So, my opponent will be Money YT. I believe he has already recorded a uh, some videos uh, on Boom Arena, so uh, definitely check out his YouTube channel. Uh, I, I believe he was recording a lot of 2.6 gameplay, which obviously wasn't uh, ever meta uh, in Boom Arena, but still is a, a nice thing to watch. We're gonna be playing with some uh, Brick Spam, like I've said. We're gonna get some Piercing Archer. And he's gonna actually block it in time with a cannon, which definitely is a uh, way to go. Here I'm gonna play Footman, even though it's uh, playing directly into his cannon. I think playing a heal tiny on this Footman will be sufficient, because he still has to react to this Footman. That's definitely the way you want to play a, a Bridge Spam, because you basically want to make your opponent's life uh, as uncomfortable as it's physically possible, and that's what we are gonna be doing today. We're gonna play fifth in the back just uh, setting up a counter to this Bomberman, as the 5th, uh, perfectly placed, can fully counter the Bomberman with no troubles. He's gonna actually be playing a Dark Knight, which gives us the prime opportunity to just play Piercing Archer and make his life even more miserable. We're gonna protect it by playing a, uh, a Footman Keg. I think we're gonna just protect it even more by playing Heal Tiny and yeah, our piercing archer doesn't take the tower, but Dark Knight is basically dead, so we've basically achieved uh, all the goals of the opening. We're gonna kite this bomb skeleton with the twins. I'm gonna play the uh, goals on these archers, because honestly, why not? This bomb skeleton is still getting kited, which uh, I find hilarious. Uh, my opponent will be playing Dark Knight, uh, which I'm gonna actually uh, play uh, piercing archer on. My opponent gets a fabulous uh, value since I didn't expect uh, I didn't expect uh, Dark Knight jumping on my both troops. Uh, Footman obviously will clean up Dark Knight and Bomb Blasters and uh, yeah, I think this game is pretty much wrapped up. My opponent calls a good game, which uh, kind of speaks for itself. I'm gonna drop a few time just to keep my troops healthy. I'm gonna drop one more Piercing Archer just to get a bit of more damage before the clock runs out and we claim a very nice win against Manny or someone who named himself Manny YT maybe because he found out the game uh, by him and decided to name himself like that uh, we really won't uh, ever know but we take the first uh, dub relatively easy game let's jump to the game number two and we're gonna actually get another <laughs> game against Manny he says oops I mean, uh, oops and noob, first things uh, in the game, which is very concerning because I don't want to make enemies, at least not that early into the game. I'm gonna play just Footman Keg, there's no reason not to. This time though, we'll have to be way more careful because our opponent knows uh, what we're gonna be playing and uh, this time I don't think we're gonna get such a uh, big piercing archer connection, so like I've said, we have to be uh, way more careful. For instance, I think he's gonna just play Ken at the uh, bridge right here. Uh, maybe not, okay. He's going actually for a double tank setup, so that's uh, one way to uh, play this matchup. I'm gonna actually uh, kite uh, my opponent's troops and uh, lose instantly. Yeah. My opponent this time plays early game way better. He still uh, will get some footman connections on the opposite side. Fortunately, this Dark Knight I uh, that jumped on my tower was already low health, so very fortunate for me that uh, Bomb Skeleton wasn't tanking for it. And basically, we get away with the best defense I could ever imagine. I'm gonna play fifth on the at the bridge. Just to piss him off, because he played archers uh, in the back, it's gonna be even way more annoying to play. I'm gonna play gunner here, just to start DPSing it down as soon as it's physically possible. Uh, very straightforward plan that surely cannot backfire. 
and I'm gonna actually play uh, Footman Kek uh, right here. I'm gonna play Twins just to force out uh, something out of him. I'm gonna play Shield Tiny just to yeah uh, heal my Footman, but it didn't work out uh, as well as I anticipated it. I'm gonna actually suck these Stonefalls. I don't think there's a reason to protect them uh, by any means. I'm gonna play Ghost here to counter this Dark Knight. I think. With the help of a Piercing Archer, it's gonna be a sufficient defense. I'm gonna play Twins with my Piercing Archer. Uh, I'm gonna uh, try to uh, get a uh, kill on these archers and preserve my uh, fifth healthy. This time we get a, a nice uh, double lane pressure, uh, which we can use to just uh, wreck our, our opponent down. This time he plays a Dark Knight, which will be a nuisance to defend. We're gonna play some Footman Kek to Hopefully guide this Dark Knight down, as now I'm biding my words, because my opponent will be having a phenomenal position to just play from here, even gets one more shot. This if although, will dash, so this, def this position is definitely playable. I'm kinda scared right now, because we definitely can lose. Uh, Gunner suddenly starts tanking for a Ghost, which is definitely nice. And my opponent is low on mana, so we'll have to play Twins at the bridge to force his Dark Knight, or the cannon, that also figures. I don't think it was uh, too bad of an attempt. He plays Dark Knight at last, we're gonna play fifth on that. Uh, I'm gonna play uh, Ghost here. Hopefully my Piercing Archer actually co uh, counters his Bomberman. Uh, there we go. Uh, we're gonna be playing... Uh, right now we kinda has, have to respect his uh, Bomb Skeleton and he just went too aggressive at the bridge, not realizing that Thief will actually counter-attack on the opposite side and we take the dub. Very close game this time against uh, Money YT once again and yeah, uh, we're gonna jump to the game number 3. This one was good. And next game will be against Laurel Lua, who starts with a, Vi I mean, uh, with a Twins. Very standard opening, since we've seen a Viking Bridge spam meta for a quite uh, long of time already. My opponent will actually get a skip right here, which I'm not really proud of, but at the same time, well, that sucks. Uh, he's gonna be playing a machine gun, so uh, definitely uh, didn't expect that move after seeing him playing a twins first play, but well, you live, you learn. We're gonna play a fifth at the bridge, uh, which he has to react to, but he chooses not to, he just sucks all the damage that is coming his way and we're gonna get with get away with a very nice lead at the beginning of this game he replaces can for i don't know which sake we're gonna just wait till 10 and basically claim the advantage he plays mortar i don't believe he's at 10 mana i think he's just playing these uh, plays at zero very unfortunate mortar timing but i should have expected that well that sucks uh, he plays a footman kick, which he definitely didn't need to play. Which once again gives us the opportunity to like um, play some troops in the back, build up some pressure. We're gonna definitely play these twins uh, to counter his uh, machine gun. We're gonna play heal tiny just to uh, pressure him a bit, because if he didn't react to that, our... Um, our fifth would be full health on his tower, and that would definitely be a tower down on the on the right side. So yeah, that's, we're gonna play Gunner uh, in the back. Since we're still up mana, my opponent is uh, doing a very poor job at managing uh, his resources. We're gonna play Ghost on the opposite side. I think I'm gonna play Twins like this, play a fifth in front of my Gunner. I'm gonna play Heal Tiny to just heal everything up very nicely. My thief will actually get to the tower. I'm gonna play Footman, which was, well, in hindsight, maybe I should have waited for him to play Rolling Steel, but uh, uh, to be frank, I didn't know he had a Rolling Steel, so he actually plays it once again for once again, God knows why. Uh, I'm gonna play uh, Piercing Archer to uh, get a counter against this. I'm gonna play some Thief just to. Uh, protect my piercing arch, obviously it will receive one hit, I don't really mind it. My opponent please plays a rolling steel, which means I pretty much can just pressure with... Okay, that was a wrong card, I meant to play a uh, Twins um, at the bridge and uh, Footman in the pocket. So basically, 
Uh, as a general rule of thumb, I would say that footmen are a very defensive card in this deck, but if you get a tower down, you can play them in the pocket and it's very inconvenient for your opponent to defend them if they don't have like a splash damage card. So like Steel Hammer, Bomberman will absolutely decimate it, of course, like Flying Bomb will be a very good response. Basically, if you are getting like a very good push, you can just play Footman in uh, in the middle and basically your opponent cannot like kite your uh, twins with a building because it will uh, instantly disappear. Uh, very good stuff, like basically uh, Footman are a very good way to just uh, basically uh, force a 3 star if you can. This time we get a 2 star though, which isn't like super terrible, but it's not like uh, super impressive. So yeah, we're gonna just go to the game number uh, 4, I guess. Yeah, very long video cooking today. And we're another again against another opponent whose name is, well... Uh, if you know, you know what it means. Uh, I'm not gonna explain it. My opponent is called Gangbang and he has zero mails. Uh, we're gonna try to see whether he can beat me or not. Uh, so far, he's uh, getting absolutely beating of his life. As, yeah, this footman won't finish out the tower, but it's very close and already I feel confident that's not gonna be the case in this game. He still has some footmen going on his tower and yeah, he ain't stopping them. Again, stopping them, I'm gonna just play some uh, Fifth and Twins. I think that's gonna be already a game over because, well, okay, maybe not yet because this uh, Bomb Blaster Kite was uh, very nice. My opponent will, will play Rolling Steel and that's why I was waiting with Heal Tiny. Okay, my opponent will actually try to defend this position, which is definitely not doable. And I think that's gonna be actually a very good way to like present how to actually conclude the game from this position because obviously my opponent cannot win and he knows that he will try to just defend as hard as he physically can so what we're gonna do we're gonna just stack from the back and we're gonna just play gunner a very calm play which he really cannot uh, punish unless he wants to go the opposite lane so we're gonna just play fifth we're gonna just play twins and uh, like I've said in the previous game, very good way of punishing this position will be playing a footman in the middle. And right now, like you will see, we have uh, on his face a lot of mana, which he pretty much uh, needs to play a splash card on, because elsewhere they're gonna just uh, absolutely overwhelm him and leave him no chance of defense. Actually, my opponent just gave up, so there wasn't like... Uh, too much of a complication that's why i was able to set up a perfect push you won't be always able to do this but uh, most of the time i think that's uh, the major plan that you want to like conclude so yeah that's gonna be the game number four and let's uh, quickly jump to the game number five and the last game of today's video will be against bartillo Mili, which sounds very italian but i don't want to like come out as a very racist person, so I might as well just uh, stop myself from these type of comments. He actually plays a very aggressively right now, uh, trying to absolutely stop uh, the bridge spam on uh, his tower. He will actually receive some damage hints since I've got some troops left over uh, from defense. I think I, I will actually play a fourth one hack just to mitigate the damage. I, I could choose not to, but like at the same time, uh, uh, I've noticed uh, from experience that the best way to beat someone who doesn't want to be beaten is to just break his confidence and even though uh, it would be better play to just uh, ignore these devils, I, in a way I just want to break my opponent's confidence by uh, play, by defending always perfectly and uh, basically this way there's a better chance that he's gonna resign early. So right now he's gonna play Devils and I think I'll have to be very careful again about that. Uh, yeah, this time I'm not gonna be defending them because obviously he can just uh, play around it. In hindsight, I probably should have defended it, but like it's not big of a deal. I expected him to like go absolutely wild, like a Viking in the back stuff. I'm gonna just play uh, Fifth at the bridge just to force out a play and there we go we indeed get a viking uh, on the board we're gonna play piercing archer in the back since right now we kind of have to defend because he just got a viking for four mana we're gonna play a twins 
just to defend a Viking. And right now, I'm gonna actually play a, a Ghost against his Piercing Arch. Obviously, not like the perfect timing, but it's uh, it's still fine. We're gonna play a, a Heal Tiny just to support our footman. Maybe we're gonna get a heal. No, we won't. Okay, so actually, our fifth will get a absolutely excellent job at taking the tower. He's gonna drop a poison, so basically, we get a rage quit at this point. And I think rightfully so. He just got absolutely outplayed, overwhelmed, and there's nothing to be done in this game. So, yeah. On this note, we're gonna end today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and learned something from today's gameplay. If you didn't, let me know. Let me know in the comments down below and maybe uh, ask some questions on how to play this deck. Uh, personally, I think Viking Bridgestone is still better, but I still like to sometimes surprise my opponent with just basic footmen. They are cheaper, they are way more uh, solid on defense. Uh, they don't counter push, that's the major drawback, but if you can get away with it, absolutely you should go for it. So yeah, that's gonna be it for today's video. If you aren't, definitely try uh, to subscribe to my YouTube channel because I post a Boom Ari content every single day and you may learn something from it. Like, just give it a try, subscribe. You may not regret it. So yeah, uh, thanks you for watching. Uh, till the end, once again, I'm gonna see you guys in the next episode of Boom Arena.